we've wanted to raise cattle that were low maintenance that would work for the commercial man and we've kept that in mind since we've started. We've kind of stayed middle of the road with size and just to get that maternal cow. We're strong on making females. If we can make the females, our bulls will come along and so will our customers steer calves. They will come if you make the females. And if they're right, the rest will be an easy road for you. 95% of our customers calve on grass and so we're doing the same thing. Quite a few people ask me, well, how are you gonna manage everything else at the same time you're trying to calve 90 heifers? You know what, it was a breeze. We all came out of uh, calving that year and thought this is the best thing we've ever done. This year, we grazed all the way through, not just the cow herd, but also the first calvers stayed with the cows this winter. And they made it right through to calving and we calved on swath grazing and we fed for four days this year. The last time we were called to, to touch these cattle when, when it shouldn't be necessary, the better. We've kind of stayed away from uh, a lot of AI and we walk a lot of bulls and I buy, we buy bulls too. And that mother and cow family uh, out of the sire we use have got to be good. Uh, udders, feet, you know, easy doing, kind of, more moderate frame like our cows are and, and so we're pretty fussy whether we buy it or we use our own and our rule was whether it's our own bull or whether we buy a bull we uh, they go on heifers the first year we've been pretty noted for our cavities in our sale for sale bulls and so we've really watched that that's kept us pretty honest on not trying to put too much emphasis on straight on performance and not on our cavities. And now it's so bred into our cows that the last few years we have been tweaking a little more performance, but still keeping our birth weights. We originally sold a lot of yearling bulls in the bull sale. And it was a difficult uh, thing for us to be able to show enough maturity in those calves being sold in February that were maybe born in March. It means that they can't have a bad day. So you really have to look after those bull calves throughout their entire lives. Whereas with the two-year-old bulls that we're selling or the long yearlings, they are much easier to manage. We wean them in November. Uh, we try to maybe take them with their mothers on some swath grazing if things allow, if the conditions allow. Wean the calves into the corral for a couple weeks and then normally they go back out on some hayland for a while until uh, well into December. From that point forward they're really on a strictly roughage ration and we probably could improve our yearling weights um, by feeding them more higher energy ration but we've kind of consciously I guess decided that uh, we'd, we'd back off on, on that growth in order to make sure that uh, longevity is is taken care of. I think that period um, of growth there for those young animals is critical to their to their longevity. We've got customers who tell us stories about bulls coming in at eight and nine years. We've got another customer who actually just sent me a couple of messages here and he says, well, we're gonna have to get rid of this bull and I said, I said oh is there a problem he says no he's awesome we've kept every daughter he's given us so we've <laughs> we can't use him we're anymore. out of options we're, we're out of options just, for yeah. pastures to put him in Two and I'm like that's that the best story right is when you know they're not getting rid of a bull because he's quit working but they are so happy with him and his offspring that they've kept every daughter he's given them and to me that is that's like the most satisfying feedback I can get mm -hmm.